Shalom, and welcome again to Yerushalayim, Jerusalem, uh, the center of the world spiritually. Uh, you're going to watch as the events of the world continue to go into turmoil. Jerusalem will be at its center. Uh, this is the stirring stick God is using to bring about great changes in the world. So what will be going on elsewhere in the world will somehow find its way back to Jerusalem and will be connected somehow to Jerusalem. Uh, I want to do, raise a thought about vision, about understanding vision, about being able to obtain vision, um, and what we, how we see that from this week's Torah portion. In this week's Torah portion, Exodus 18, 1 to chapter 20, verse 23, uh, we see this incredible event. God reveals himself. He opens up the heavens and God speaks directly to the people. And by so doing, speaks directly to the world. And the whole world is moved by that, 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 that experience. And Israel is not only moved, but even frightened. How can anybody live after seeing something like that? And then we see the following description. And in verse Exodus 20, verse 15, we see the following words. And all the people saw the sounds and the torches and the sound of the shofar and the smoking mountain. And the people saw and trembled and they stood from afar. And the word to focus on is, they, they saw the sound. What does that mean, they saw the sound? You don't see sound, you hear sound. Except there was something, an important message being given there. Rashi says they saw what was heard, which is impossible in any other situations, but they saw what needed to be heard. They also saw it with their vision, with their eyes. What's the purpose? Why is Hashem creating such an experience so suddenly your senses actually get mixed up between the two? The Svatemet teaches, one of the great stages, that hearing and seeing are two different things. Uh, one is completely unlike the other. For one who sees, he perceives what he sees in a perfect manner. He just sees it in front of him. And he doesn't see it with any change. It's just what is. And one who hears, the sound enters through his ears and in his perception. And it isn't always exactly how the sound is. It's just how the sound is perceived. That's the advantage of seeing. Hearing, on the other hand, has another advantage. Hearing... Uh, is a sense where you need to hear it uh, in, in, inside, uh, inside his, his soul in many ways. Our, our, our sight is a cost of the totality of what we see before eyes. We see so many things at exactly the same times. So in some ways, we think, we have a sense, they were able to comprehend the full picture of an event uh, in one instant of time. Yet on the other hand, Hearing involves something else. We need to absorb the experience in a very sequential fashion. You hear one note at a time. You don't hear it all. You hear pieces in a very sequential fashion. And you need to, to listen to one note after the other. It perceives the world in a much more comprehensible way. It's not everything being seen in front of us, but piece by piece where we can build it back together and understand it. And it does so also with the nuances of melody and, and sound. So we need to understand and organize everything that we're perceiving in the sequential fashion through our ears. And that gives us the ability to understand. So we don't only hear particular sounds, we even sense the emotions that are connected with that hearing. So on the one hand, you need to understand and see the whole picture. That's what seeing gives us, the ability to see everything at one time, everything that is there. And on the other hand, uh, and we assume, regrettably, that everything and all the options are laid before our vision. That's to say, everything is in plain sight, even though, in fact, we may not be seeing the whole picture. So vision can lead one astray because we don't see what we're not meant to see or what we don't want to see. 
And the woman saw that the tree was good for fruit. Genesis 3, 6. The woman saw that the trees were good for food and it was a delight to the eyes. And she ate and she gave also to her husband with her and he ate. We think we understood the whole picture, but we don't. Sight is the ability to the physical reality around us, but we don't have that vision to understand what it is that we're seeing. How do we change sight into vision? The, the antidote, to be, or the, the, the tool by which we can change our sight into vision is called listening. We read in the beginning of this Torah portion, and Yitro, Moshe's father-in-law, the chieftain of Midian, heard Vayishma, all that God had done for Moshe and for Israel, his people, that Hashem had taken them, Israel, out of Egypt. Exodus 18.1. What exactly did he hear? Well, the Talmud offers three possible suggestions. Rabbi Joshua says, Yeshua says, he heard the war with Amalek. Eliezer Modai says, he heard the giving of the Torah. And Rabbi Lazar says, he heard the splitting of the Red Sea. These were events that changed the perception of the world. We see that in Exodus 15, 14, 16. We see it in the book of Joshua, where Rahab says, the hearts of everyone melted when we heard what was going on and what you had been through. And the Kotzke Rebbe asked a fascinating question. See, what Yitro heard was what everybody else in the world heard. Rahab heard it, the... The kings of Moab heard it. What made him different? And the difference is that even though the whole world was aware of what was going on with these people who came out miraculously out of Egypt, they all heard what was going on, but he heard and he acted. He heard and he came. He understood something different was going to change the whole world. That was the experience of, of Har Sinai of Mount Sinai as well. They didn't only hear the words, they heard its power. They understood its meaning. They saw an eternal context at one and the same time as they heard the words. That seeing is the ability to see the totality of the event and sense how everything is interconnected. Hearing is the ability to give melody to all that is interconnected. When you Understand the melody, you begin to understand the meaning and the purpose. That's true of all of us in our lives. We so much want to look around us and go, okay, I've got this, I got this figured out. Well, we aren't listening to the inner melody of what's going on. And once you listen to the inner melody, you begin to understand and you begin to have vision. And the world around us is going through incredible turmoil. Uh, People see only what's in front of their eyes. That's going to change. The world will be set through more and more turmoil. But there will be those that will see what is heard as well. There will be those that will understand the undertone, the melody that's going on. And it's those people that will truly understand and be ready to act on what Hashem wants us to act on. Uh, I, a couple of years ago, before Corona, I remember walking out into the square of the Jewish Quarter, right in front of our shop, and I remember a group of French Jews were coming across. It was Monday, and they were having a bar mitzvah, and they came dressed impeccably as French people are wont to do for an event, but they were singing. And they were dancing, and they had shofars blowing. And suddenly, at the other corner of the square, there was a group of soldiers that were gathering before they were to march off to some other uh, part of their sojourn and journey in Jerusalem. And they decided to join in. Suddenly, the soldiers and these people coming from France and the Israelis and children in the area all started singing and dancing. And, 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 and the vision was an awesome one. And I suddenly saw that... that there was a, a little girl actually standing right next to me, and she was looking at her grandmother who was with her, and she said, Safta, are you okay? And she looked, and if you looked at Safta, Safta's tears were streaming down her face. And she goes, 
I'm completely okay. Meaning she saw what she saw, but she heard what she saw. She understood this coming together of people from France and Israel, music, a child coming into Bar Mitzvah, all of it happening here in the old city of Jerusalem. That's vision. That's not just seeing, and that's also just not hearing. May we all be granted with the power to hear, to see, and to see what we hear so that we truly understand what Hashem is doing in our lives and in the world. Shabbat shalom, until the next time.